We've done a couple of interviews with John Rhodes at Park Hall where we've discussed his work with the football club. Well, today I'm on the road with John. We're on our way to the north of England. What are we going there for? I'm off to Shrewsbury to meet with our head of recruitment and he will fill us in with the details. Well, Stuart, we're off to Ramsbottom United versus Tag Castle today um, to watch Josh Amami, who's on loan from us. So, let's go. John? We've arrived at Ramsbottom United Football Club. What next for you now? So we'll now probably go in. We've got some tickets laid on this afternoon. Uh, we'll have a little look around, just take all the surroundings in, probably watch the warm up, and then we'll get ready for the game. We found our way to the clubhouse. We've had a very warm welcome indeed. You've got your cup of coffee there. But of course, we're not here just to watch a game of football and drink coffee, are we? No, um, probably a, a side of recruitment that people don't see is, a, is looking after players or watching players that are at your football club that are out on loan. I mean, many clubs have loan managers at TNS. That, that I double up with a little bit of that as well. So, at some point, anybody that's out from the club, especially into into English clubs. Um, I will go out and watch them and do a progress report for Scott. Players that are in the Welsh system, we tend to know what's going on. We get progress reports from the managers as well, so it builds a picture. So today we're here to watch Josh, uh, see how he's getting on, see how he's been progressing, watch him again. I'll report that back to Scott. Uh, and you never know, these, these occasions you do get um, someone else that crawls out of the woodwork as well that, you, that you're not expecting, so it, it, it is a worthwhile exercise. John, it's half time. Give us an insight into what a typical first 45 would be for you at a game. Uh, first sort of four, five, ten minutes, I guess. I'm, I'm working out what formation each team's playing, and then from then on, I'm then looking at anybody that sticks out in particular or if I'm doing what I'm doing down maybe making some notes on how the individual's performing uh, I tend to do most of my work in the first 45 minutes so I, I'll make my assumptions decisions whatever you want to call it within that time and then the second half now will be me confirming those decisions or assumptions that I've made in my head really and that formulates the report that I will write later on today well I'll tell you what John Perfect time in there because we've got a cup of tea. I am silly sugar. We're in the car now, ready to head back to Shrewsbury. What's your focus, John, during the second half? Yeah, any changes that can be made, any changes in formation, any changes in personnel, making notes of them, uh, and again, just then reaffirming what you've watched in the first half and see if that's the case. And then on today's game, there was nothing in the second half that made me change my mind of what I've watched in the first half. So pretty straightforward, pretty nice and easy. And then uh, just really there to get ready for the two-hour drive back home. Back where we started, John? Well, certainly as far as you're concerned anyway. You've been to a game, you've made a few notes, and that's the end of it. Or uh, is it? Uh, I wish it was that simple. So I know you can pull that part out altogether tonight, probably put it into a, a, a report. We've got, we've got a player report form that's pretty standard across the piece. Uh, and then that will be in Scott's inbox on Monday morning. <laughs> 